Hey everyone, so I've been having a problem with my Dodge Ram 3500 2006 diesel um, where the TIPM is starting to fail under the glove box and um, the airbag light will flash and my AC will stop working. Well, I figured out it's the relays inside the TIPM that's sticking. Um, but the TIPM on mine still works because it goes on and off occasionally. So the relays are sticking. So if you ever have that problem, pop the hood, slap it, bah! <laughs> just slap the shit out of it once really hard and then go check and you'll see that the relays will then activate because when you slap it, the relays won't stick anymore and um, your shit will work. Well, I don't want to pop the hood and do that every time I start the truck and I need AC. So I'm going to bypass the, um, the window relay under the TIPM. Now I decided to do this because... Um, when that happens and the airbag light goes off, my AC stops working, my windows also stop working. It sucks. There's probably, Dodge likes to put like 50 million things on one circuit, so I'm going to bypass it. I realize that the main wire to bypass it is the pink and yellow wire. How do I know that? I, uh, pop that, my window switch, and the power wire from the window switch is a pink and yellow wire. You can also go to AutoZone.com, sign up for free, um, and they have free repair manuals that show you pinouts. So I'll see if I can show you guys that later on another video. So the pink and yellow wire runs from the door all the way into here, into the cabin, through that box. That box is the window relay stuff, but here's the main pink and yellow wire. I cut mine. Cut. Yep. So what I did was, this is my amp wire. Well, it's not connected to an amp right now. Um... But what I decided was I like to have a lot of electronics in my truck, like amplifier, power inverters, and stuff like that. This main wire uh, that I ran directly to the battery off of a thick um, fuse, I'll show you. See that? Super mega fuse. And then it just runs right in there. This main wire, I'm going to use it to power maybe my power inverters and my minor electronics. Like my, um, my uh, dash cam and cameras and stuff. And then I'll run another wire for my amp when it's time to put my amp in. So what I've done was, I ran a fuse to it. I used a 15 amp fuse, you could use a 10 amp. So from the power wire, right, you run a fuse, 10 amp or 15 amp fuse, to spot number 30 on your relay 30 is always hot 30 is always under load then my switch wire for when the keys in the ignition in the truck is running will be attached to number 86 which i have up here that i tapped i tapped into the pink and white wire from the ignition switch and I even labeled it so right there pink and white wire from the ignition switch when your keys in the ignition and your truck is on either running and driving or the on position where all electronics are lit up dashboards lit up that wire activates that's gonna be my switch wire so switch to 86 on this relay is the yellow wire switch to 86 and then ground, which is 85, okay? Ground to complete the switch. And then number 87, I'm not using 87A. Number 87 will go here, back there to the pink and yellow wire. What I did was I cut the pink and yellow wire, stopping all power from the TIPM under the hood. And I'm now gonna manually run my own brand new power wire away from the TIPM directly onto the pink and yellow window switch. So what's going to happen is when I put the key on on the truck, the relay underneath the TIPM under the hood will no longer power my windows because it sucks that that fails and I have no access to my windows. Go to a drive through I have to jump out of the freaking truck, open the door. It sucks. So power window bypass, pink and yellow wire. You could, you could run the power wire directly to it, but then it'll always be on draining your batteries. So that's it. I'm gonna wire it up and show you guys 
how it's going to run. Hey guys, so here it is all taped up. I am going to solder it, yes. What I do is I run a shitload of temporary wiring um, to make sure things going to work first before I solder solid connections. So I ran the ground wire to that screw. You remove that screw. Those two screw holes were from a custom stupid alarm install, which sucked. So I, I ripped that shit out when I bought the truck. That screw holds the entire plastic piece in. You remove that screw. You could insert your ground wire in there, put the screw back in. Factory, no drilling holes like these idiots. So ground wire to... 85 switch wire to 86 switch wire to activate the relay is right there pink and white which is also the acc wire that you could use when the truck is on and running when the key's in the ignition for an alarm okay and then 87 from the relay to the power source of the whatever I'm trying to power. So to me, that's gonna be the power windows, pink and yellow wire. See, I cut it. And then 30 to, to a fuse to direct power from my main power line. Now I'm gonna hide it all and I'm gonna do my homework and I'm gonna figure out what else in this Dodge truck is powered by this pink and yellow line. Because I cut it, I'm sure shit positive. I just probably disconnected a few other things, but I'm not sure. I've spent hours pouring through diagrams from the factory. Um, and diagrams from AutoZone, their repair manual, and I've spent hours Googling it, and I can't figure out what else is attached to that wire. Hopefully it's just the windows, but it's okay. So this is how I bypassed my windows. I could have ran this relay under the hood, but I tend to go off-roading and play in water, and if I could rewire this entire truck where none of the electronics or none of the wires and relays are accessible to water, I can't, I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna put all my relays and all my fuses in a new nice location, all the way in there because there's like one or two cubic feet of space up there I could use. And here's the test. Key. Ignition. On. Now my windows are going to work regardless of the TIPM. And I'm going to start it. Watch this, watch this. I'm gonna teach you guys a trick. Look. I have no AC, watch. See? No AC, airbag light came on. Here's how you can bypass it, watch. Here you go, there's box, the relays are sticking, slap it. Boom, fixed. Airbag light turns off, the relays activate, AC's working. But who the hell wants to pop the hood in every single parking lot every time they start their truck in the middle of summer and slap the shit out of their TIPM? Crazy. So I'm gonna figure out, I am gonna replace the TIPM one day, but I'm gonna try to figure out how to run all my own wires. My engine light is on from my intake air heater electronic that heats up the air when I start the truck that I need to swap anyway. The engine light has nothing to do with the bypass and what I did and my TIPM failing. Alright guys, take care.